the federal government's health agency has lost its mind. They decided on May 13th to end the mask mandate, which said that people should wear a face mask when they're in a public space to uh, avoid spreading the coronavirus. They did this at a time when less than half of people in this country had received any vaccination at all, and only about a third of people had been fully vaccinated. And they abdicated that authority to state and local authorities. And, of course, the personal responsibility of individuals. And some areas uh, responded by simply enacting uh, state or local mask mandates. Uh, and other areas did exactly the opposite. I'm talking about Republicans. For instance, in Texas, Greg Abbott made it illegal for cities like Austin to have a mask mandate. And uh, they have two arguments to support that. One is that it's bad for the economy. And we all know that the pandemic has been bad for uh, the economy. The question is, do we want people to get sick and die because we are chasing a short-term benefit to the economy? And uh, that's the question. And the other thing that they raise is that it's some kind of an infringement of personal liberty to be asked to wear a mask. And that's, that's, that is pretty uh, outrageous. Um, the people who go around without a mask are keeping the coronavirus in circulation. People are getting sick and dying because the virus is continuing to infect people. In the past, it was people who were not vaccinated because they didn't have a choice. Today, it's more like people who are not vaccinated because they just have not chosen to be vaccinated which is another separate issue that has arisen recently. It's pretty amazing. It's the most selfish and unpatriotic thing that you could do to be so... It's just egotistical. I don't feel like being vaccinated, and as a result, I'm going to expose other people to this virus, and people are going to get sick, and they're going to die as a result. People in my community, probably no one in that person's family has died from the virus, I would assume. But uh, even if you don't die, only about one or two percent of people infected by the coronavirus die. But many more people experience organ damage from the millions of tiny blood clots that the virus causes in organs. And they continue doing damage even after the virus is killed or removed by the immune system. And some people will never recover from that. They will just spend the rest of their lives disabled as a result of their infection. And some people are not even eligible to be vaccinated. That's another issue. But for some reason, the federal government uh, thought that that May, May 13th, was the right time for people to decide for themselves if it was necessary to wear a mask, to decide for themselves if, you know, if it was, if they believed that uh, the coronavirus was a threat. They don't listen to scientists. They don't listen to doctors. They just do whatever feels right. Recently, the government's health agency has completely turned around. They have decided that, in fact, fully vaccinated people should wear a face mask when they are indoors at least. I don't, I haven't read the specifics of it, but I heard those, that basic uh, headline. And although I don't disagree with that, the issue is not so much the vaccinated people, it's the large number of unvaccinated people who are keeping the virus 
in circulation, spreading to new people and even reinfecting people who have already had the coronavirus. And by now, we've at least had the opportunity to be vaccinated. But there's no, there's no excuse you can make for the government's lack of leadership here. And there's certainly nothing you can say to exonerate the Republicans who prefer to put economic gain before the lives of people in their community. What, what part of that is unclear? People are dying because of their arrogance, their greed. And they have the audacity to clothe that decision in patriotism. False patriotism, let's just be clear. False patriotism. Overall, the government's handling of the pandemic has been disgraceful from having, uh, you know, spokesmen and uh, so-called experts on the television saying, well, maybe you don't need to wear a mask. You know, it's not really a matter of, of uh, scientific debate. We've pretty much known the facts about uh, the coronavirus and how it spreads since pretty much a year ago. And yet, there's so much, like, give and take and back and forth on uh, what, what the best practices are. We don't wear masks because we like to. We don't wear masks to protect ourselves. We do it to protect other people to break the chain of transmission for the coronavirus. That's it. And once we take that disease out of the community, we don't have to wear the masks anymore. There's a reason why smallpox and polio don't circulate in the community anymore. It's because we got vaccinated. I mean, how simple how much simpler could it be? They gave you a vaccine for free and you don't want to take it. I mean, they can't force you to, but how stupid are you?